Hi, and welcome back to another DC tutorial. Uh, my name is Peter McTavish, and we're going to finish off this ge uh, geologic geometry question. So, 2014 paper, and it's question C1. So, we finished part A in the last video, and now we're moving on to parts B and C. So, part B, in the space provided on the top of the map, so this rectangle up here, uh, draw a vertical section or profile on the line DE after earthworks of the fairway ABC have been completed. So basically what it's going to do is it wants you to draw a profile of that line D to E. Okay, so basically you're going to, what you would, before the earthworks you would have marked the point here, this is 70, so you show that it rises rise 70 and you're marking on the contours. But because the earthworks are completed, it's going to look slightly different. So first thing I'm going to do so the heights are, so our altitude, this is 75, this whole section here is 75. Then it goes, we have, down to there is 50. So if E is on 65 contour, and that's his altitude. So this is the line for 65. I'm going to mark up 5 mil intervals for our heights. Okay, so let's draw that up. Okay, and draw them across. So this is just all 5 mil measurements. And you keep it all nice and light, because all you want to see here strong is the profile. So each 5 mil represents a 5 meter increase. So if this is 65, then this will be 60 and this will be 55. This will be 70, 75, 80, 85, 90. Now I don't think we need anything larger than that. No, 90 is the highest, so we'll leave it at 90. And I'll start off with the easy section. Start off with the easy side, show you what we're basically doing. So the right hand side here, so the line DE, the line DE is all along the ground, all along, it's supposed to be going to be the contours of, it's going to be profile of the ground itself until this point here and after that then it's the earthworks so let's follow along these points here so basically wherever your line DE hits a contour line so in this case here you draw that point straight up and you mark in its height in this case it's on the 70 so if I draw this point here straight up Now where I hit the 70, that's going to be a point on my profile. And basically you do the same with the rest. So I'll do one more now and then I'll fast forward for the rest. So the next contour is here and that is 75. So draw that point up. Now where it hits the 75, that's a point on your profile. And that's all you do up until this point here. So continue that practice now. So draw them all. Up, so next one is 80. Okay, so that is the right hand side of the profile done. So it's going from your 65 E, following along all the contours, and back down to our point here, which is on the uh, 60 mark, okay? So they're all drawn up like so. Now this is where it changes, okay? Because we're on earthworks now, okay? So our point D here, if we work on the left hand side, so rather than continue, I'm gonna work from the left over. If we bring up point D, so bring point D straight up, because that's the end of our line. And the height for D, remember it's level, so it's 75. So this is 65, 70, 75. So this is point D. 
All right. Next point then on that line, so you ignore the contours now because we're on the green, so figure out where it stops at the green, which is this point here, because so that's the next point on our on our profile. And again, the green is level, so this height here will also be 75. Now the rest of the points then, so this is your earthworks here. Okay, but D doesn't intersect it again to there. So how would you find points from here to there? Okay, what you're going to use is the 7.5 millimeter arcs that we used in the last drawing. All right, the last uh, section, section A. So our first one is here. So that gives you a point there. Second one is here, and third one's where they meet. And remember, each 7.5 mil arc represented a 5 mil drop. Okay. So, 5 meters drop, sorry. So this is 75. This one here is 70. That there is 65. And then we ended up back there on the 60. So draw those two points straight up. So we're going from 75. Now this is our first arc, so that is 70. Next one here then is 65, which is on the line there. So we have points here and here. And they go join back there. So remember, if it's in the artworks, I want to show you a profile like that use the arcs that you drew in for the fill there okay the 7.5 so it gives us two points here draw them up find them the altitude then is 70 and 65 and that's it done so join them all in freehand lightly and then you can go over it strong Okay, and you can actually see from the profile what it means by earthworks and the slope sides are 1 to 1.5. That's showing you the earthworks once it's done. Okay, where you have these curved sections for the normal contours. It'll be straight line for the earthworks. Okay, and that is part B done. Now, part C. So a golf ball positioned at point E is struck in a westerly direction. The path of the ball is a parabola which rises to a maximum altitude of 115 meters, having travelled a horizontal distance of 100 mil in plan. Okay. So, in the profile view, which is our rectangle up here, draw a parabola and determine the position of the point on the green where the ball initially lands. Okay, so what we're saying here is there's a golf ball at point E. It's struck and its path is a parabola. Uh, basically, where does it land on the green? And it tells you once it travels 100 mil horizontally, it reaches its uh, maximum altitude of 115 meters. So we need to put in basically the box it fits into. So I'm going to measure over 100 mil, draw a line up. So measuring 100 mil. Draw that straight up. And the final altitude is 115. So we had 90 here, so it's continuing up. This is 95. 100, 105, 110, 115. So this is going to give you the vertex of it. So here is the vertex of the parabola and also a point on the parabola. So it's traveling from E to here and then back down to the far side. So if it's a parabola, we need to divide up the base and the height in equal number of parts. So let's see, what was the height overall there? The height is 50. And this is 100. So I'm going to go divide up into 5. Because I don't have to divide up the line. I can just use measurements. So 5... Five equal parts, so 20 mil, 40 mil, 60, 80. In this case, it's every 10. So we have 10 there, 10, 10, and 10. So for a parabola, the heights, or sorry, the lengths, 
get drawn straight up, so the links get drawn straight up. And the heights get drawn across to the vertex, so bring them across here at the angle. And where they meet gives you points, so where the first angle line here meets the first line there. Second meets the second. Third meets the third. And fourth meets the fourth. And that's going to give you the angle of your, pra or that's going to give you points in your parabola. Draw them freehand lightly. And you can just use symmetry, axis symmetry to bring them across and find points on the left hand side. So our points are here, 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 here. And I also have to put in the last one, because we need to show the path, we need to show where it hits the green. So drawing them in lightly freehand. And now the parabola can be put in strong. This section is in under the green, and what I wanted to show was it travels uh, in a parabolic flight path, and where does it hit the green initially? And this is the point here where it hits the green initially. And draw the parabola and determine the position of the point on the green where the ball initially lands. So there it is there. That's your point. And that is part C done. Okay, so that's the question finished off. That was parts... B and C, and part A was in the previous video. So, uh, as always, I hope that helped, and if it did, leave a like, and we'll see you in the next video. Okay, thank you, and good luck.